Um, now I'm, I'm excited. Going, I can't wait to watch it. I'm going straight to it. Woo! I'm gonna have to wait. He wasn't. Have, he gonna have to find it. All the running I'm gonna do is right at him. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got to worry about finding me. <laughs> Yo, that was Mike Tyson on a podcast called. Uh, what's this podcast called? <laughs> Oh boy, let me go back. What's the podcast called? Uh, Pound for Pound uh, with uh, Usman. Sorry, I forget the other guy's name. But check out the podcast. Mike Tyson was on there saying uh, he's going right through Jake Paul. It was a great interview. Tyson was talking about age. And the only reason you have limits is because people tell you you can't do something. I've been saying that for years. And he's like, how do you know how old you are? Julius Caesar added July just to give himself an extra month. So it was just a great insight into his thinking. They were talking about how strong he is. Just Mike Tyson, when he puts his arm on your shoulder, how heavy it is, his hands, you know, how big they are. And he talked about fear. And that's something that Custom Auto taught him. He was saying how fear can be your, your best friend and stuff like that. You just have to know how to control it. He said, if I was a normal guy, I would think that I was a coward, but I know how to use fear. Now, I don't like to use the word fear because the scriptures say fear not. So I like to just call it being aware and alert of what's around you, but not actual fear. But, uh. You know, some of the quotes that Customato used with Mike Tyson, Sylvester Stallone used in the Rocky franchise. So it's just interesting to see Mike so ready to go. He said he's doing, he did what, 7,000 uh, fly, uh, what do you call it? Can't even think of, think of what it is. I know what exercise he's talking about, but he said he did 7,000 in one and a half days. So he's definitely ready to go. I saw footage of Jake Paul. He's looking really fit. And he's he, this might be the best shape I've seen Jake Paul in, too. So uh, we got to see what happens. Jake Paul warned Mike not to come right at him. But we know Mike is. Mike's not listening to that. Uh, what else was Mike talking about? Let's see. Um, besides fear. He was talking about his weight, how now he's bigger because uh, he's growing into his his actual size and he turned fat into muscle. And um, I'm trying to, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But even if I am, go check out the interview that Mike Tyson did on a podcast called Pound for Pound right here on YouTube. You won't regret it. Um, Usman from the UFC did a great job interviewing him and you know you could show they had a lot of respect for him and Mike's right about the age thing I've been saying it did a video earlier about Ike Bayabuchi coming back next month on the 7th at age 51 Mike Tyson will be 58 by the time he steps in the ring next month with Jake Paul who's 27 and you're gonna see that age doesn't really matter um, it's like Mike said when he's fighting these guys in the gym that are like 20 something years old he's like I don't feel 58 and I know they don't feel like he's 58 either. <laughs> um, he was talking about something interesting, how there are guys in the gym that could just whoop you, just beat you down. But then the minute they get under the lights, they're terrible. He's like, I never understood that. <laughs> but you get them in the gym and they're world beaters. But uh, this fight's getting close, man. What are we about? What is it, next week? Arlington Stadium in Texas, that place is going to be packed, going to be packed. Anyway, it's the J. Roos Theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe if you wish to donate to the platform. The cash app is dollar sign J. Roos 33. LSR forever. And be fearless. Yay. Yeah.